Well, tech stocks have been taking a beating on the U.S. markets, posting their worst performance in a year. And the tech-heavy Nasdaq has taken the biggest hit. The world's largest company, Apple, fell 6%, while other tech leaders, such as Google's parent company, Alphabet and Microsoft, have also dropped. Tech stocks have been among investors' favorites over the past year, with all major companies in the sector posting double-digit gains. Now, while some analysts say the tech, the sharp drop is a temporary correction. Others fear it could be a sign that the tech bubble is close to bursting. Let's hear from Santosh Rao now. He joins me from New York. He's the head of research at Manhattan Venture Partners. So, which of those camps do you fall into? It's a, a timely correction or the bubble about to burst? I fall in the timely correction, much needed, healthy correction camp. Uh, I think it's too early to throw in the towel. Uh, there are a lot of uh, factors going on. Uh, it was a crowded trade. Everyone was coming in. Uh, everyone was chasing. The momentum guys were driving it up. And as you see with all momentum trades, it's good till it lasts and then one small scare and everyone sells off. But you need to be in this for the long term. These are, in the end, the NASDAQ, the, the, the stocks that are driving the NASDAQ up are based on good fundamentals. So I, I feel that this is too early to call. It's not there yet. Santosh, uh, let me just unpack that very interesting statement you made. Crowded and momentum trade. Just explain to our viewers why these two terms are important, what they mean. Well, I think there the are a lot of people sitting on the sidelines watching NVIDIA go up 30, 40 percent, watching Apple go up, watching... They've missed, missed the whole rally. This is a lot of money sitting on the sidelines, a lot of retail money. They want that, but they're just not able to get in. But at some point, they say, you know what, I just need to get in because it just keeps going up. And when you see round numbers, Google hitting 1,000, Amazon hitting 1,000, those are psychologically strong numbers. And everyone says, you know what, I need to just get in there. So that's what's happening. Uh, people are getting in. Even people who are risk-averse, they're getting in because the volatility was so low in the market. So there was no sign of risk anywhere. So everyone was jumping in, thinking that stocks just go up and don't come down, almost like the 2000 uh, before the bubble burst then. But here, I think the difference is these are solid companies. So someone interested, someone uh, with a long-term focus uh, will look at these companies and say, these are underlying fundamentals, strong fundamentals driving these companies, whether it's Apple, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Microsoft, whether it's Amazon. Let me ask they you. They are on a secular long... Let, let me ask you for a bit of free yeah, investing advice. Trend. We're not going to mention any stocks in no. particular, but just the mom and pop investors, the retail investors, just give them a little advice on how broadly they can get in on a good thing before it becomes so famous and well-known that there is no more profit to be had. Right. So I would say on the near-term... Short-term traders, I would wait on the sidelines, uh, wait for a while because Facebook is still reasonably priced. All the multiples, if you look at it on a real valuation basis, they're really re very reasonable. The multiples are not out of this, out of uh, out of range. Uh, they're still trading below the indexes uh, in terms of all the Facebooks and the the Fang stocks, so so to speak. So I would say, you know. Wait, Amazon is probably very expensive at this point, but if you have like a three or four year horizon, I would get in there because they're disrupting the whole world, uh, the whole uh, retail sector rather, and they're getting into other verticals as well. So Amazon is here for the long haul. Google is here for the long haul. So if $1,000 is very expensive, I would wait, uh, wait for it to pull back or wait for it to split and then get in. Uh, but if you have a long-term horizon, if you can allocate a little money, I would get in and bet that in the long term, technology is where the growth is. That's where that is immune from what Trump does and does not do. There are fundamentals driving technology sectors. There are disruptive models there, and they will, uh, they will, uh, they will continue to outperform. Santosh, uh, thank you very much for the advice. Just to be clear, Money Talks does not endorse any stocks whatsoever.